Hi, I'm Ernesto Caravantes, and I'm here at the Mars Desert Research Station in Utah. The research station is put together by the Mars Society. Myself and my crew will be here for two weeks analyzing the soil compositions, geologic formations, and the general engineering tasks of maintaining a Mars station. Yesterday, uh, my colleague and I, Ingbild, went out on our first EVA, or extravehicular activity, outside the HAB. And while we were out there, I discovered these two stones. You'll notice that they're brown, smoothly rounded, and actually have some thumbprint indentations. My first thought, and perhaps my first hope, was that these might be meteorites, or stony meteorites. As you know, there are three types of meteorites. Those that are made of metal, which are iron and nickel meteorites, those that are made completely of stone, or stony meteorites, and those that are made of a combination of the two, these stony irons. Upon looking at them, my first thought is that these might be stony meteorites. Now there's two types of stony meteorites. The type that have the little chondrules inside, usually of some sort of crystal, and those that do not have chondrules. The chondrules containing meteorites are called chondrites, and the ones that do not have those chondrules are called achondrite stony meteorites. But upon bringing them back to the lab, cleaning them up, my uh, colleague Jim ran some chemical tests and determined that most likely these are not from outer space. Most likely these are not of meteoric origin. Uh, in a moment, uh, Jim will be demonstrating the kind of tests that he ran to determine or to rule out the hypothesis that these stones might or might not be from outer space. In other words, my original hypothesis was that these stones would be meteorites. So we set out to either prove or disprove or conclude in some way either they were or were not uh, of that category. So I'll turn uh, the video over to Jim so he can show you the kind of chemical tests that he ran to determine that these were not of meteoric impact. Thank you.